10 burglaries, 23 days, one disturbing MO. Baltimore County Police say a man targeting female Towson University students off the streets tonight. We first brought you the details tonight at 6 on our show In Focus. ABC 2 News' Katrina Bush joins us now with more tonight. Katrina? Well, students say this was certainly a frightening few weeks for them. Now, since the arrest, we have learned that the suspect in this case was a registered sex offender before all of this. Now he's behind bars, held without bail. Um, it just sort of scared me and made me feel like really unsafe. The first alert came on the first day of May, a warning from Towson University police for students about 10 off-campus burglaries exclusively targeting female students. I live on the second floor, which I was happy about because I think being on the first floor would be scarier. Still, Erin Morgan took precautions when walking around her neighborhood. Baltimore County police say Vincent Davis Jr. sometimes came in through unlocked apartment windows. We lock the door as soon as like we walk in, even if it's like right now, like broad daylight, and like we only leave the windows open and unlocked if we're all there. Like Katie Hogan says crime alerts from the university have become more frequent and she was beginning to feel like she wasn't safe anywhere. At least a little bit of relief, though, after getting the latest update that Davis has been arrested and charged with nine counts of first degree burglary and one count of attempted first degree burglary. Court records show there was one thing he stole from all his victims not just credit cards and jewelry, he also went after their dirty panties. And other undergarments. I didn't know that before, but that's really, really makes it creepier. I thought maybe it was just trying to rob like electronics or something. Investigators realized these April burglaries had a lot in common with a rash of burglaries in 1992 in the same area. It turns out Davis was charged and convicted for those break ins, serving 17 of his 27 year sentence. The prosecutor in that case will have another chance this time around to prove his point that Davis Jr. belongs behind bars. I would rather he had gotten life and, and me felt good back then rather than standing here now talking about him again. So, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good knowing that we didn't get the right thing done. Now, when Davis Jr. was released early from prison in 2010, he did register as a sex offender and was apparently compliant. But again, investigators say that all changed about one month ago. Katrina Bush, ABC 2 News.